This is Halloween with Halloween. 12 tracks for 65 minutes, though there are some bonus tracks around on this one too in different versions. Uh, 16th studio album from the German band released June 2021 via Nuclear Blast, produced by Charlie Baufiend and Dennis Ward at Miss Bueno Studio in Spain. Three singles have so far been released, including Stifle and Fear of the Fall, and this is the band's first with the quote-unquote Pumpkins United lineup, which sees the return of original member Kai Hansen and vocalist Michael Kiske. Uh, though this is the band's uh, longest wait between albums, this is their first to have multiple vocalists, and at this time, they haven't gone with one or two, they've gone with three lead vocalists on this one. So, Dave, the wait is over. Yeah, Off you go. go. Spill my juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Halloween are one of my all-time favorite bands. We did the special a couple of months ago, and that was amazing to go for everything. And I have really been looking forward to this album. When they dropped the single for Skyfall a couple of months ago, it was everything I was hoping from the seven-piece lineup. And that was the yep. edited version. And now the whole album is out. I could honestly say it not only lived up to my expectations, it's exceeded them. Uh, when it was announced in the metal world a few years ago that Michael Kiske was returning to Halloween, I may have been the mm. only person like was like, oh, fuck, because I like Andy Jerez. But thankfully they yeah. kept it. So, oh, man, because he, it, it's his band. Kiske was in the band for maybe five years. Jerez has done this for 30. So mm. he certainly, so it's great that they kept him. And I yep. think I'm more actually more happy that Kai Henson is back because if anyone owns Halloween, it's him. He was his vision to start with. He's got a very distinct style of playing, and it's great to hear him playing in a Halloween album again. Uh, he has some lead vocals in the song that he wrote, Skyfall. It would have been cool yep. to hear him take some more lead vocals throughout the album, but it is what it is. And when he does come halfway through Skyfall, it's just like, fuck yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Um, it's cool that they reference various eras of the band. You've obviously got Keeper of the Seven Keys, um, but there's yeah, songs that could also, yeah, the songs you could also have been off better than Raw or The Legacy or Seven Sinners. Yeah. And th it's nice that they got their little spoken moments in some tracks. It reminded me of what they did on Occasion Avenue on the, the Legacy album. But yeah, with um, Kiski and Duress sound great together. Um, I think they bring out the best in each other, and yes. it's just increased the scope of what this band can write to. And when you have a band where pretty much every member of the band can write quality songs, you got you have to have as many tools in your arsenal as possible. And, and hands each, as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or, and mm. each writer has their own distinct style too. If you're familiar with their entire extensive catalog, as soon as the song starts, you're like, that's an Andy song or mm -hmm. that's a Kai Henson song. It just comes straight away. Mm. And it's just cool to hear that guitar attack from Kai Henson come back too. And, you know, you have to wait for the whole album to get to Skyfall, but, you know, it, it, it? it's not Halloween, it's not Keep of the Seven Keys, but it's that same epic grand feel, and you've got many different parts to those songs. And the full version on the album, apart from the um, single that was released, more solos, more harmonies, more instrumental sections, more drama. <laughs> Great songwriting. Um, as far as writing goes, I'm going to be an asshole and say I'm glad Kiski sticks to singing. Because they let him write a few songs on that god awful chameleon album, and we all know how that turned out. <laughs> that's all water under the bridge now, but everyone knows their strength, and that's what they play to. Yeah. Uh, with, with three guitarists in the band, it would have been really easy for them to just try and one up each other and just like, I yeah. insist that my parts here, I insist it's there. It all just plays together, and it's mm -hmm. all to serve the song. There is no ego on this at all, Definitely. which is fantastic. Especially <laughs> when I you got. That. Dude, yeah. That was Fucking so you got important. seven people in the band now. It would have been very easy to have a disagreement, but everyone's on the same page, and it's fucking amazing. Now, same goes for the vocals. You've got three vocalists, but everyone takes the right part, and whatever who's writing the songs knows. And I'm sure they experimented in the studio to see who could do the better job of what they had. And yeah. it would have been really interesting. I wonder if they made a documentary or have some behind-the-scenes footage that they released at some point, because it would be really cool to see mm -hmm. some of the process that they went through. Well, um, apparently, Kiski and Darius get along like a house on fire. They seem to have that chemistry on stage, too. And it's just like, yeah, it's really cool to see. It's, when you see a band enjoying themselves up on stage playing songs that you grew up playing, it's just that extra factor. It makes it fantastic. And, you know, with such a long history that this band has and with such an extensive catalog of quality songs and albums, uh, they pretty much invented the whole subgenre of, of power metal. And, yeah. you know, there was a lot of weight on this album and expectations because mm -hmm. 
everyone was like had their eyes up um yeah. but even if you take away everything that came before and you know nothing about this band this is a fucking solid heavy metal album and if you like metal and you've never heard halloween this is a good starting point obviously you have to go back and check out where they came from but yeah, yeah this is a fantastic album regardless of who is involved um yeah 10 out of 10, if, if i gave anything less than that i'd be lying uh yeah. fear of the fallen mass pollution angels indestructible robot king skyfall <laughs> and the bonus track uh, golden times i thought that one was cool too okay yeah cool all right um there you go people there's there's a splooge fest from dave for everyone to enjoy we've got our own <laughs> dave doing dave ellison um yeah <laughs> Yeah. Well, Keith can get them for you. Um, so <laughs> um, this is epic right from the opening fucking note. Uh, you know, there's something here that hasn't been around for a while on this one. Got to give to the art, a nod to the artwork too. I thought the artwork was clever. Well done. It did that thing you were talking about where it's hiding all the elements of this band. The history was all done in the one little still, which is hard, but fucking well done. They've taken their time with this as well as should. They delayed the release uh, like many, many others have done. This is really, really the wait. Uh, I like Andy Derris in this band. We did our uh, special, like you were saying. And for me, I hadn't covered yeah. them as nearly as much as you've spent time with them. But I, I remember talking to you about it and going, Derris is pretty cool. I don't understand why people jumped off when he came in. Yeah. Like, he's so good. But it... So it feels unfair to him to say something like there's been something missing from this band for a while. It's it's not that it's been missing, but this just has a bit of magic about it. It kind of reminded me of what Brave New World did for Iron Maiden. Yes. This feels like that for Halloween. Uh, classic Halloween fans, as well as those who like the Darius newer stuff, uh, anyone who likes traditional melodic metal at all, this is an album for you. Uh, all fans of this band, past, present, whatever, can get into this one. This has the whole history of the band in one album, which is just fucking phenomenal. Uh, I have to say the three prong vocal attack, I think it works really, really well. Uh, mm. The harmonies between Darius and Kiski is my God to die for. Fuck Fantastic. me dead though. I love the difference in tonality, but I also love how you know, you got Kiski going higher and Darius really adding the grunt in the slightly lower, more mid range. Fuck. They worked well together in this one. They really did hit it out of the park. Great push and pull between them. I love the way the storytelling is enhanced by the byplay between the vocalists. They they trade off on lines, the harmonies, the whole thing is about those two guys really duking it out in the most positive way possible out the front of this awesome backdrop of just beautifully composed and performed music. Uh, this really adds to a lot of drama on this with the vocals like that. Like I said, they're behind them. The composition is fantastic. There's There's a lot of longer songs in this one, which isn't normally my thing. That's much more your thing. But this is so fucking well written. The drama is well presented. It's all it's busy as all fuck at certain times, but they also get really opened up, slow right down. They really know how to play with the tempo, and, and every little detail is well and truly paid attention to. The parts have been laid in on this one are stunning. There's you know not only vocals like uh, Decide in Fear of the Fall, and that little spoken vocal that goes from left to right, but the synth touches, bits of narrative, there's little foley things in here too. Like there's so much detail in this one. It's fantastic. And again, to make that all work, the production is brilliant. Mm. Uh, it's one hell of a record. The tones are glorious. I love the punch as well as the space on this one. Such a fantastic mix. It has such a big wall of sound, but it lets you hear absolutely everything. Really well done. They knocked it out of the park. I think the album flows for a slightly longer release. This flowed nicely. The performances are all fantastic. Uh, but I thought there were some really good solos on this one. The guitar work was pretty fucking good. Even though they're for a lot of it, they're slightly behind the rhythm was a really interesting touch on this one. They did push them forward at the right times, but for some of it, they were behind as well. And I thought that really added to the drama and sort of sucked you in a bit more because you want to hear it. So you, you consciously focus a bit harder on it. That makes it all the more rewarding because this sonic embrace that comes to you from this listen is just really well done. Uh, I just thought the whole thing has nice depth across the board and, and how the detail was changed from song to song, but it all is cohesive, was really intelligently done. Uh, I don't know. This is fun as a background listen. It really is good as that, but my God, where this really shines is the deep listen. Sit down on this one and just take it in. Put yourself in front of the speakers or the headphones, wherever it is, and just fucking take this record in. It's well worth it. Um, it does not feel like it goes for as long as it does. It flies by. Uh, the, the attention to detail is there in all its glory. And 
not only is the composition from song to song really engaging, but also the mid song changes are engaging too. Like this is really just a deep, deep listen to take in. This would be fucking great to see live. I would like to see this one played from start to finish along with a few of the, the greatest hits. You can feel the energy and the chemistry these guys have, all of them together after so long. They've got this awesome chemistry and you can feel it on the record, which means you know it's going to go off live. You can just feel it when you listen to it, which is fantastic. You can feel that it's fun. There's no ego in this. They just, you know, they want to do something great and they've knocked it out of the park. I know that the last album, My God Given Right, wasn't their best work. It wasn't bad, but this one... Mm. God, yeah. what the fuck they did here was fantastic. Great hooks. This stays with you. It's memorable in every way. I've played this a lot already, and I'm nowhere near tired of it. I've got great longevity to it. And the storytelling is really cool, too. Some great lyrics. There is some cheese, but there's always been that with this band, and this sort of is another throwback element that, to give you the fun side of what these guys do. There's always been a tongue-in-cheek about it, and that that is well represented here along with the more serious sort of topics going on. If you slept on this band or dismissed them or jumped off years ago, this is not the album to do that to. This is an, another classic band throwing down the gauntlet to the young ones and going, here, top this, kids, mm -hmm. and yeah. good fucking luck because this is pretty fucking special. Uh, the only critique I can think of is that the bonus tracks may stretch this a bit for time, but fuck, I didn't feel like that at all. I think they're still worth it. This is a weird way to sort of close out my review on this one, but it feels like Christmas listening to this album. Mm -hmm. It, it really felt like Christmas. It, it feels weird to say Halloween brought me Christmas, but, you know, <laughs> it feels like Christmas. I just fucking loved it. Um, this is so damn well done. Uh, fucking check it out. 10 out of 10 from me as well. I fucking loved it. Uh, Fear of the Fallen, Angels, Best Time. That's a really cool one. And yeah. Out for Glory. There's so many more tracks on There are no duds on this one at all. Fuck me dead. Fantastic. Um, wow. Just a wow owl. Uh <laughs>